The ancient sages believed the shofar to be an instrument that embodies and releases God's voice. The root word in Hebrew for amniotic fluid is shofia, and it's a derivative of the word shofar. It's profound. Not only is the amniotic fluid the protective water of the fetus, and water carries a record of original intent. So it also means there is a sound resonating and echoing over us from birth. The sound that we hear deep within the sound of the holy shofar in our DNA. It is the voice of God calling us to remembrance of our identity in him and the echoes of the breath in creating man. So I think that's pretty exciting. You know, and you've seen how when a child develops, a child can first dance before it can speak because there is a voice within, a sound within every single person. Um, I've mentioned this before in courses, but scientists have proven that each DNA correlates with a sound note. So, in other words, in your DNA is encoded your original song, your unique song. So, it is a sound, a frequency of vibration that only you can release into the atmosphere. So, what we're going to do today in our ascension, because the focus of the blog is who and what we are in Him, in Christ, and what do we release from being within that environment. And we want to go back to the womb, into that amniotic water, where your sound was released by the breath of Yahweh. So obviously we know we have a breath and a sound from our pre-existence in him, but we want to go to our womb and we want to entangle and also fix any dark mandate songs or sounds that were released. For instance, um, you are a woman, but your father wanted a boy and you were born and there were things spoken over you and a sound that was released over you that was not or doesn't correlate with your original intent in what Yahweh designed over you. So we want to go into that amniotic fluid. We want to retrace and we are going to correct and release that sound in and through you. So hopefully that excites you. <laughs> All righty. So there where you are, just want you to get comfortable. And I want you to picture Jesus in front of you. And as always, we want to engage with his breath. So when you breathe, you're breathing in the breath he releases, taking in the frequency, the vibration, the presence of his breath, the scroll written in his breath for your ascension today. And you breathe out. When you breathe in, See those words, the scrolls entangle with your spirit, your DNA, and you breathe out. And you keep on just engaging with that a couple of for a couple of moments.
as you're breathing in his breath, you can feel your spirit starting to float. The reality of the physical realm disappearing. And as you continue to breathe in his breath, I want you just to feel that sense of weightlessness setting in. Any cares, concern, bothers disappearing. As you're completely focused and ascended in the breath of Jesus. Now, in the next breath, Jesus breathes you in. I want you to see you being transported into his breath, into him. And he meets you inside of him in his own personal garden, his inner garden. Jesus takes you there. You've been there before. He takes you to a spot in his garden, whether it's by the river, waterfall, and you go and sit and you just partake of communion with him. In that place where you are in the inner garden of Jesus. As he is standing in front of you, he opens a doorway, 
a gateway to his heart. So you're already in him, but he's inviting you into his inner chamber. I want you to walk to him and step into that gateway, into his heart. When you step in, there's another gateway in front of you. There's an angel standing at this gateway. This angel has the scroll of your destiny and conception into the physical realm. And you take that scroll from the angel. And you eat it. It's the most delicious scroll you've ever eaten. And as you eat your scroll, it is entangling with your DNA. Not only is it entangling, but it is opening gateways of remembrance into your birth. Into, your, into that realm of conception, into the womb. When you've eaten the scroll, the portal opens for you to step into the most inner chamber of his heart. As you step in, just want you to take a 30 seconds and observe what you see. Angelic realms that are there. What does his inner chamber of his heart look like in this particular instance?
The sound's not working, Charles. All right, I want you to... Go to the door of the heart of Jesus. As you move through that door of his heart, you are into the inner chamber. Right by the inner chamber of his heart, by that gateway, there is an angel standing there. When you move through that gateway, you are going to go into the realm of your conception. But that angel has a scroll, and the angel gives you that scroll. That scroll contains the complete record of your conception, your identity. I want you to take that scroll. I want you to eat it that it entangles with your DNA. In that scroll are the memory cells of your conception. Your primordial identity. As you've eaten the scroll, the gateway opens into that inner chamber of his heart. I want you to step in there. I want you to take 10 seconds and just observe what do you see in that realm. As you move into that chamber, in the middle is a big ball, a round sphere, and that ball is filled with water. That water You will see right in the middle a round circle which represents your seed. In other words, that's you in there, the exact moment of conception. I want you to move into that circle into the water. So you are moving into the dimension, the realm of your conception into the physical world. In that water, a hologram appears that you can see the breath of Yahweh blown into that water, breathed into it. As he breathed into that water that contains your seed, he releases the record, the frequency, the vibration, and the sound of your original intent, your original identity. And I want you to just stay in that environment and you start to breathe in that water. As you breathe in that water, I want you to feel, hear music, sound, frequency, vibration. As you breathe it in and out, 
acting your activating your spirit with the original waters of your conception. As you're breathing that water in, I want you to feel your spirit being intoxicated with the primordial sound. So in other words, it is the original sound that was released into that water by Yahweh in which the seed of you would start to grow and become a human being. As you are in the water, you are going to pick up any a black circle floating around. You might not. It doesn't have to be one. But what I want you to do is that if there is something floating around that is foreign, I want you to ask Yahweh what it is. So in other words, we want to identify something that was spoken over you at your conception that was not part of your scroll. Like the example we used that dad wanted a boy, you were a girl, and that was spoken over your waters, which wasn't part of God's plan. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to engage that. And we just want to identify it. And then we're going to do an activation to change it.
All right, you're still in the water. And whatever it is that Yahweh identified or that you picked up, I want you to take that thing into your hand. I want you to name it, whatever it is. So in other words, if I have to use the example of the gender, that father wanted a boy, I take that voice and the frequency of my dad's desire wanting a boy, yet I was born a girl. I take authority over that sound and that voice in my waters. Because of the body and the blood of Jesus, I trade that sound back to Yahweh. So on that trading floor, I want you to see your hand punch through that circle, that sphere, and you give it into Yahweh's hand. He takes it and he gives you the restoration, the original sound that was supposed to fit into that pocket of your identity. And then you speak it out. I receive the original sound of my gender as a woman. And I release that sound and frequency into the waters of my body, of my amniot, of the amniotic fluid. So obviously you can now just name whatever else there is. Right, you are in, still in that water, in that sphere, with your sea drifting in that waters of original intent. I want you to breathe in the restored water as you are in it. As you breathe it in, I restore the sound written in my DNA, encoded by the breath of Yahweh. I release that sound, that frequency, that vibration into my spirit to entangle with my DNA. I entangle the gates of the shofar that is entangled in my DNA, the holy sound that those gates will align with the gates of the sound of my original intent, the breath released from Yahweh. I declare that any unholy sound that gained access into my primordial waters are nullified and silenced. I 
as you are in the water, I want you to feel and sense a different vibration being released in the water. In that water, the sound, the frequency is vibrating in and through your being. Like a complete recalibration is taking place. In you and in the seed of the womb, inside the womb. Just breathe in what is being released. And you just constantly engage that realignment and that sound of what the song is in your DNA. As you are breathing in the water, the shofar in your spirit starts to release a sound. Now, I know you're probably in an environment where you can't um, sing or horn out a sound, but you can do it in the spirit. And I want you to see that any cloggings in the ram's horn of your spirit is opened up and there's a new sound being released from your whole being. Any ungodly tang entanglements, you are completely freed from that. Your orig original sound is restored in your spirit. And once you, as you breathe that water in, it trumpets from your spiritual shofar entangled in your spirit. Like a ram's horn, I want you to feel that sound being released from you. The whole spirit is being undone in the holy sound of his breath being released through you as an instrument. Where you've lost your voice, you regain your voice. Where you've lost your confidence, you regain your confidence. Lack of identity, restoration of identity. In this process, experience how you just become enraptured because you are in him. It is like a restoration of destiny and purpose. Your original scroll vibrating in your spirit. Constantly just engage with it. See your spirit becoming completely intoxicated with the event, the sound.
maybe you feel in life that there were places that you were just, you missed it. Purpose, etc. This is the new sound being released from your spirit. So in other words, an al realignment is busy happening, a shifting into your original design intent. Feel a freedom that has been activated in you. It's like you found your voice again. Now, I want you to see Jesus come into that place of the womb in the water. And you are standing face to face with him. And the same shofar that is entangled in your spirit, your DNA, Jesus has his sound. I want you to see how the shofar in your spirit reaches out to the one that is entangled in Jesus. Both of them releasing a sound, but the sounds start to entangle, creating a completely new heavenly sound. Jesus entangling with your sound, and you are entangling with his. A divine transference of his sound. So the water that you are in is stirred like a tsunami. Every single sound, vibration, molecule, 
atom within that water is activated and responding to the sound being released both from you entangled with Jesus' sound. New life infused into the water. I want you to take the seed that is you drifting in the water into your hands. And when you look at the seed, it is clear, it is pure, it is vibrating with your original sound that Yahweh breathed into your waters. I want you to step into that seed. Any which way you want to picture it, how Jesus is engaging it with you, I want you to step right into that seed. And that seed completely embraces you as the original intent, original voice, sound, pure perfection. In that space, Jesus meets you. From there, a portal opens up and you go in that portal with Jesus. That gateway leads all the way to the inner chamber of his heart. Because that was the original thought and intent that he had of you was birthed in his heart. So from there, the doorway opens up and you step out with Jesus. And you look at yourself in the spirit and you can just see a new sound that is trumpeting from your spirit, from your DNA. When you look, you look different. You sound different. You breathe different. It's like a freedom has been activated within you as your sound has changed.
In front of you is a bright light. And that is Jesus leading you into the physical world in your original state. Restored the sound that was in the breath of Yahweh is echoing within your spirit. As you step through that light, you are that new person with a new song written in and through you by Jesus, by the breath of Yahweh. And you find yourself there where you are sitting and you can open your eyes. Um, this ascension is also an example for you to engage with in any past hurts that you have picked up that has happened when you were still in the womb. And you can go there and ask Jesus to release the original sound that was intended and not that voice that altered or brought about hurt, anything like that. Perfect. So we're going to open the, the floor for anybody who would like to share. So it is being recorded. It does go on YouTube. So for those who do not mind to appear on YouTube, you can share. And then afterwards, I'll put it off for anybody that would like to share, but you don't want to be on YouTube. So the floor is open. Whoever would like to go first, you can go. I would like to jump in. This was amazing. When we were dealing with going into the, the first uh, opening and the into the waters, and I saw it was like looking at an electrocardiogram but each one of the, I guess, points were like a full experience with the Lord. And then up under it, there was this fire. It, it wasn't fire for burning off bad stuff. It was fire for transforming, transforming me into what he wants me to be. And then I saw these, it was like a new, it was almost like what you have for your background, except it was more patterned. Um, it was multicolored, but it was more like a, more like, um, almost like a pattern of, of ebb and flow where that, that kind of marks, was marking um, the ebb and flow of develop, of my, my own personal development in God. And it, it, it just blew my mind. And then dealing with some of the, um, there was a, I saw an arrow as well as a sound. It was like, it was taking me back to um, interruptions, I guess is what you would call them. That was not by design. And both of those things were, it were, 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 symbols of interruptions that that went on and and when i gave those to to yahweh what i got back was like a, an ability to see the sounds uh entangle as well as hear it and it, it was just amazing just wow. just amazing so that i'll stop at that point Thank you very much, Craig. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else? I'll share something. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I think it's important to share. Go for it. Normally, 
I've come to realize that Gates and Doors has always been there. You just open it. Yes. Realize, and it's just you now coming to light. This time, as a, basically what you described was a big egg with a sperm in it. <laughs> 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 and as I was standing in front of it, I went into it. But in the center of my sphere was the, the nucleus of what I perceived previously. And as I sat underneath this nucleus, I started realizing, and what came to mind was I think it was in one of your courses about the bloodline. Was it Reuben? Mm, I think so. Those, yeah. yeah. Mm. Where that itself was an absolute amazing experience of how I cut the bloodline and I physically started a new bloodline from myself going forward. And it all tied in with how I sat today. And in the previous ascensions, I, it was all about transference for me. Mm. And I realized that, yeah. I, when I make physical changes inside me, inside my spirit, it's not just for me. It is also for the transference to my seed. Mm -hmm. And with that in mind, my ascension formed around that. I saw the waters. As soon as Yahweh breathed into the waters, every water molecule split just for a moment, separated from each other before they form, grabbed hands again. From there on, I saw what I actually, the point I want to make is that from that sphere, because I've got three boys, I saw three rivers shoot out and three vines. Now I come to realize afterwards that those vines was um, umbilical cords. And the umbilical cord was the transference from me. And when I saw that, I literally had an open door to all my boys in that moment. And I stood in front of every one of them because they're still asleep. I stood next to the bedside and I blew the, the ram's horn. And there was a like he said, a confidence from me transferred over to them. But also I saw the river. And the river was the continuous life-giving, not from me, but from Yahweh. So the umbilical cord was from me, and the river was the transference from, from Yahweh there. And so the ever-living, ever, the life-giving water. And I with every ascension, like I said, I realize it's not just me. It's what mm. is attached to me, beyond me. It's extremely important, and it gives me more assurance that what I'm doing for myself in me is so important to be able to transfer that to the world. I hope that makes sense. Mm. Perfect. Thank you, Marcel. Is there anybody else I'd like to share before we switch over?